and I made a couple of them. So far I made one, two, three, four, five, six. I got four more to do. Um, so you can look into my channel if you want. Please watch my Team Fortress 2 videos. Team Fortress 2 is a great game, but you don't like violence. It's kind of cartoony violence. So, but if you don't like violence, you know, just way away from that. It ended already. That that evasion gone just like that. <laughs> Rude, Lady Banjo. Rude. <laughs> Every time I join a battle, they're all like, <laughs> "Screw you." So we complete all the ten tasks. Ready to go to Doctor Tom? Yeah, I do. It's gonna be freaking weird, dude. <laughs> Look at that door change color. Dr. Tom. Oh, he's sitting normally, Dr. Tom. Why were you outside? Were you just trying to get a stretch break or something? Dr. Tom, hello. Dr. Fork says he wasn't expecting a package either. Unfortunately, a Slobot stole my um, package from my assistants on the way back. I'm sorry, but you'll have to find that Slobot to get it back. Cellbot and get it back. So now you have to find the package from Cellbots. Man, Postmaster Pete, the American hero, or the Toon-ish hero of Toontown, I guess, doesn't do his job correctly. He needs to do a better job. If I had a cog reader right now, if you don't know what a cog reader is, I'll show you. Um, the Laughing Place, whoever that was, explained what it is. And basically, if you collect all the cogs here, um, like you fought enough cocks every single time, you can get a cock radar by clicking on these buttons. Um, if you complete it once, like you defeat the amount of times once for all cocks, you can click on this and you'll find all the cocks available. And then you, there's a second um, level where if you get all the cocks again, um, you can find how many buildings there are. And if only I had that, that'd be quite convenient. But that's not the case, unfortunately. So yeah. This is in 2 Down Central anywhere. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go into Elm Street um, of Daisy's Garden. In Elm Street, which is the connecting place to Silly Street, there's a lot of Cellbots there, so instead of just like walking back to the playground or whatever, I'm just gonna go over there. I'm gonna ignore that cold caller actually. I'm just gonna keep going. I love this music. If you guys didn't know, this is my favorite playground in the game. I love this playground to death, bro. Let's take a look at this person. This person here seems to be struggling, I guess, because he has two cogs in here. I'm here to save your life. If you just somehow manage to die or whatever, that's going to be a shame. So I'll give her that tail. Look at that dodge. Wow. How weak is Clover, by the way? Is she weak at all? She's... 23 laughs. Not too bad. Oh, hello. I got that. It's gonna use Razzle Dazzle on me, I hope. Good. She won't be done today. Next step, I need Squirting Flower. Well, not Squirting Flower, I mean Squirt Gun. <laughs> oh. Seems to be a little bit more laggier than UC is. Which is strange. Look at that. That 12 plus 8 and the bonus. Just wipes them out. Did pretty well. I think that's. Who does it? Who does it? Hey, dude. Red. He's recording. Okay, so we got her packet. I just got disrupted again. We're almost to our next gag, surprisingly, thanks to this invasion. Not invasion, excuse me, this uh, event. So I walk back all the way to Dr. Tom's place. Dr. Tom's having so many, many more problems than. Alright, so I had a crash, right? <laughs> and we're in Daisy's Garden. Thankfully enough, we have the Toontown teleportation device. So we can go back to Toontown. Wow, I just went to the tunnel and crashed. So what I was saying, Dr. Tom Flurry. Dr. Tom, what a fool, he's having so many problems. Like, okay. So I didn't get a package, I think somebody else has a package. My assistant's gonna get the, get delivered the package, but then my assistant get robbed. Well, we can go back to him, he has more problems. No, I'm kidding, 
I think we had to go to the next doctor. So it's doctor time for Dr. Eurofic Euphoric, excuse me. Dr. I am Euphoric. Dr. Tom. Professor Pete. Professor Wiggles. Last but not least. What the heck is this? Money bags? Um Money bags are like my favorite cash pot, by the way, but because I don't know, I like the looks of money bags. Look how stupid they look. <laughs> That's why I like money bags. Just the look of them. They're fat. Like a plump bag of money and a little you know, loop, I guess. Hennel. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, here we are, Dr. Tom Flurry again. Dr. Tom! Great, you got it back. Maybe you should try Dr. Pull Your Leg. You could be paying for him. Dr. Pull Your Legs building is called Dr. Pull Your Legs Chiropractor, which is on Punchline Place in Planet Central. Okay. Let's go right now. You guys might regag and fight those money bags, you know? I somehow lost all my jelly beans. I think that was because I spent it all on this dress. So now I don't have any jelly beans, but I'm not going to the trolley. Screw it out. I'm going to go home and use the piggy bank. Alright, so the money bag invasion already ended. I'm, I'm way too slow when it comes to this stuff. And go. Go in. Money. Good. Wait, 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 what? Me more time to think. What are you talking about? Okay, I saw. It's weird. I was getting my gags, right? I said, need more time to think? I'm like, hello. What's wrong with you? Um, Dr. Put Your Legs place is right into walking distance. You see right here, Dr. Put Your Leg Chiropractor. And uh, here we are on the map, not really that far of a walk, just an L Tetris shaped walk. And you're here, Dr. Put Your Legs Chiropractor, which I'm stuck, which means I'm gonna crash soon, so bye bye, guys. Okay, never mind. Will I actually crash, though? Oh. No, no, actually. Um, what do you say? I think he just stared at me the whole time and didn't say a damn thing. He gave me a task, so... Let's look at it. From Mr. Pete. Two time post office. Okay. So I guess I gotta go back to there. I don't know what that's all about, but we gotta go there anyways. Oh my god, do you see that fox? Wow, that was a fox. Orange. Brown legs. Total fox. He said there was another package. Made a cock stole it too. Be so you find a second package. I can always press home instead of end. I don't know why. End is tune task. Hot fix. And home is a gag hot fix. And I keep pressing home thinking it's end. I don't know why I keep doing that. Huh? What? Is that Fox back there? Look at that. It's Fox. You see that? It's freaking Fox. He disappeared. Interesting. I like how blunt speech chat is. Let's take a look at this. Testing. Bugs. Oh. Sorry, my game crashes. They know that their game crashes often, you know? Hi, Fox. Sorry, Fox. Oops. Spoo. I can't say spoo. What the heck? Wow, we're that close. <laughs> that close. <laughs> instead of using squirt gags, what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use throw gags instead. Alright. Throw gag time. <laughs> I want it. Okay, okay, this is what I don't get about shred. Do you see that? Alright, so you don't just shred, and then you walk back into the paper, and you don't get damaged. I mean, sure, following the laws of physics, that the wind force should have slowed the paper down. But think about it, you're just stepping right back into the danger. And it did not recover the package still. Here, let's go fight this double talker. I'm stuck. <laughs> and you got like Queen just doing a scooter. You see that? That's a unique way to scooter. So a little skip hop, you know what I mean? A little skip hop. 
Wait, 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 there's another fox, a bite-sized fox. So let me guess, guess. there's uh, two foxes. There's the tall fox, and the bite-sized fox is basically the fox that's super tiny. Is that like a sort of fox clan? Is this some sort of, like, ritual to the pay for the release of Smash 4 on 3DS? That's just so, that's just so absurd. Smash for Wii U coming out on the same date as Mega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. I mean, the game stores will be bustling. The game stores will be filled. The game stores will be empty. I mean, the game. <laughs> Look, just imagine how many, how much money game stores make. Like, yet yeah, literally go to I don't know a local game shop to get a game, or like I don't know Fred Myers or something. Like that, because no one would expect anybody to go to Fred Myers to get games. But I'm not certain if they actually get the games on the release dates. That's something I do not know. Hey, Postmaster B. Get you your package. Is this for a uh, chiropractor man? I guess there was a second package after all. Hurry, and take it over to Dr. Poitolite with my apologies. See, Postmaster Pete is super fat. He's fat because he doesn't get around. He's fat because he doesn't deliver the packages by himself. He fa he's fat because he sits there all day. It's like Dr. Lima and his slash her. Because I don't know who it is. A his or her. <laughs> I honestly don't know. And their exercise. Doc Detective Lima. I swear to God. He slash she is crazy about his slash her exercise. Are you serious? Just it's like that? We got our tuna. Oh my god! Fantastic! And since we're on Puzzling Place, we can just go to Donald Duck right now. Fantastic! We're out here, baby. There's nothing else to do here in Town Central, honestly. So we're just gonna go move on to the next playground. Wow, that was actually really quick for a final track. I think the longest final track is, of course, of course, is the bird. But the second longest is probably Donald Duck. I mean, Maze Land isn't really that long. I just jumped over a tree. What? I just jumped over a tree. You you can do that? But no, 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 I actually got it. I actually jumped over the whole tree. Like that? Yeah, you see that? Oh my god! <laughs> Whoa, dude! Right, here we are. We're arriving to Bronco Boulevard and Don's Dock. Right? I can't believe it. You know, Central's over like just like that. I mean, it's like episode 20 right now. Took 20 episodes to complete to that central. I don't know why it took so long, but this is just one more step closer to my farewell. Unfortunately, though, you guys have to stick around for a little bit more longer because I feel like that session was a little bit, a little bit, little bit too short. So you're gonna see a little more of Don's Duck, and you're gonna hear me just be having fun, you know. And it'd be amazing if I one day meet somebody who watches my videos on Twitch. I mean, it's 4,000 people, at least one of them plays it on Rewritten. And a couple of subscribers there are looking forward to Rewritten. And I feel like it's a lot more common to find somebody on Rewritten than uh, on the internet. And it's surprising I haven't met somebody yet. But you know, I only have 100 subscribers, so it doesn't really matter that much. 